Have you ever looked at your bank account and wondered where the heck all your money went? Like, seriously, where does it vanish to? You work hard, you save, but it's like there's a black hole sucking it all up. And let's face it, sometimes that black hole has a name. Albert. Albert could be anyone. Your roommate, your sibling, your partner, or even that overly familiar friend. The one who always seems to have their hand out with a sob story or a quick loan that never seems to get repaid. It's like they've got a built-in money vacuum. So, how do you stop this financial leech without causing a full-blown drama? How do you set boundaries without feeling like the bad guy? And most importantly, how do you reclaim your hard-earned cash? That's what we're diving into today. First things first, let's acknowledge the elephant in the room. It's uncomfortable. Talking about money can be awkward, and dealing with someone who's taking advantage of your generosity is even tougher. But remember, you're not being selfish by protecting your finances. You're simply asserting your boundaries. The key is to approach the situation calmly and rationally. Avoid accusations or blaming. Instead, focus on how their actions are affecting you. Use I statements to express your feelings without sounding aggressive. For example, instead of saying, you always borrow money and never pay back, say, I feel stressed when I lend you money because it's difficult to get it back. Communication is key. Sit down with Albert and have a heart to heart. Be honest about your financial situation and how their borrowing is impacting you. Explain that you need to set some limits to protect your own financial well-being. Be prepared for their reaction. They might get defensive or they might try to manipulate you. Stay calm and stick to your point. It's important to establish clear expectations. If you do decide to lend money, set specific terms. Agree on a repayment date and stick to it. Don't let them push it back or make excuses. Consider creating a written agreement to avoid misunderstandings. Another strategy is to gradually decrease your availability. Start by saying no to small requests. If they ask for a few bucks, politely decline. As you become more assertive, they'll start to realize that you're serious about setting boundaries. If you've tried everything and nothing seems to work, it might be time to distance yourself from Albert. This doesn't mean cutting them out of your life completely, but it does mean creating some space. Limit your contact and avoid situations where they can ask for money. Remember, your financial well-being is important. Don't let anyone take advantage of you. By setting boundaries and communicating effectively, you can reclaim control of your money and your life. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.